My name is Rick. I am somebody who's worn a lot of Zero shoes over the years. If you're not familiar with them, X Zero, spelled with an X, pronounced, I think, Zero. So they gave me this pair in exchange for doing an honest review, and that's exactly what I'm going to give you. My honest opinion of this shoe, after having put 51 and I think 0.3 miles on it so far already. The short story is I love it. Not perfect, but I love it. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to detail for you what I do and don't like about this shoe. Let me just summarize by saying I like wearing these. The shoe is fun to wear. It feels good, very comfortable, especially considering it's a casual shoe. Yes, an athletic shoe. Cath athletic? No. Catheter. That would be, no. Athletic leisure. Athleisure. That's what they call this. But it is a good leisure shoe. It's very comfortable to wear. It feels good, and in my opinion, it looks good. And, and frankly, not just my opinion. I've got friends who have seen me wearing this, and they're saying, hey, what you got on your feet? Where can I get a pair of those? No, but I mean, how often does a guy say, dude, I like your shoes, man. Where'd you get them? But that's what I got. And so uh, apparently it's not just my opinion, but this is a good-looking pair of shoes. Zero describes this as... A good shoe to wear in the workplace, in a casual environment, but also enjoy it as a legitimate pair of running shoes. For a shoe with a dual purpose like this, I have to say, based on my experience, this really hits the mark on both counts. It's clearly an athletic shoe. You know, it's, it's zero, so it's all the stuff you would expect. Incredible flexibility, uh, good tread. The, I think they call it feel true. It's the rubber sole. You get a lot of traction off of that. I'm very happy with that. This is truly a shoe you can wear at work, and then without having to change shoes, you're ready to go for a run. But there's something that surprised me about this. Yes, yes, dual form. Good road shoe for running and a good work shoe. But you know what it also is? A decent trail shoe. I know it's not advertised that way. It wasn't built with that in mind. But I've several times worn it where I didn't have time to change or whatever, and I've just been going straight out to a trail, or just because I was curious and wondered how to do on the trail, because it got good traction on the road. Turns out, in my opinion, you could wear this on a lot of, maybe not a technical trail, but you could definitely wear this on the trails. Several times in my life, I have had one of those situations where I lived close enough to work that I at least had the option of going for a run uh, or a walk. You know, maybe as part of my commute. Man, I sure wish I had a pair of these back then. Because you could. You wouldn't need to pack an extra pair of shoes. These shoes work great for the workplace, and they work great for running home in. The second thing I really like about this pair of shoes is that they are true to size. Um, I would normally wear 12 and a half. That's what I've ordered. It's like a glove. Or, you know, a shoe. Feels fits like a shoe. Third... It's a true zero shoes shoe. It's got all the things that you've come to love and respect about the brand and about all of their shoes, like the wide toe box. Uh, the, you've, you've still got a firm grip in the heel. It's got uh, you know minimal stack height, and it's zero drop. There's no difference between the toe and the heel in terms of its stack height. Or should I call that X zero? Uh, and it's also obviously super, super flexible, like all of their shoes. You can fold it up if you want. So the point is the shoe is not going to try to control your gait or the way your foot moves or hits the ground. It's up to you. And that's what I like about it. Fourth, as I said, it's suede. The suede gives it a good, classy look. It makes it feel more like a shoe you could feel very comfortable wearing on a date or just around town or to work or whatever. So that that's kind of cool. Now, the fourth thing that makes this a shoe that I really like wearing, and this is the part that honestly surprised me because I knew it was designed to be a casual shoe. I knew it was also designed to be a good road shoe for running. It's the fact that it is legitimately a pair of shoes I've enjoyed wearing on the trail. As long as it's not a technical trail, I'd say, I'd say use them for that. Wear them. So I've done a lot of trails on them, uh, several different types, dirt, gravel. I've even done some you know, semi-rocky trails. Two millimeter lugs is all you got. So, and that's good because obviously you wouldn't want something really luggy around the office or even really on the, on the road. It's overkill. 
but it does mean a, I don't know that you'd want to wear it on a highly technical trail. I can tell you that one time, just playing around, there was a boulder about head high, and I just tried to run up it. I didn't do well in those. It didn't have enough grip for a steep you know, run up or boulder. So, you know, I wouldn't wear them on a highly technical trail, but it does work well. Okay, now the sixth thing is something you might consider small. I don't. I cannot stand, I'm out in the middle of a group run or I'm in a race and I look down on my shoes untied because you don't want to lose time. So to me, it matters a lot. Does a shoe that's intended to be a running shoe of any kind actually stay laced when you tie them? These do. These stay tied. I think they're uh, leather on this particular shoe, on the Zero um, Prio suede. Yeah, they feel like leather. In any case, they work. In fact, experimentally, I only tied it uh, once, and as opposed to a double knot or a triple knot like I might normally do in a race, just in case. But just single knotting them, go for a run. I've gone as far as four miles and didn't have to tighten them, didn't have to retie them. So that's small. Makes a big difference if you're in a race, doesn't it? I didn't really care for the color combinations in terms of it working well as a casual shoe. I mean, I don't care as much when it comes to running, but the stripe that they have here, well, not a stripe, it's actually a strap, right? It's the straps they're known for because it's a way of cinching it up in specific spots. I wish it wasn't a contrasting color. I wish they had designed it so that maybe it was a you know, a similar color to the shoe. Because as soon as you put contrasting colors, it doesn't look as much like a workplace shoe, in my opinion. It looks more like uh, a pair of tennis shoes or, or court shoes or running shoes. Yeah, this is called the steel gray and um, uh, appropriate for this part. I just wish that part wasn't burgundy or whatever you want to call that color. I wish it was actually like maybe also steel gray or similar. I guess in my opinion, the boldness of those stripes makes it look inappropriate for workplace in some workplaces. I work from home. I don't even need pants. So they work fine for home. But in your workplace, you might also be thinking you wish that was kind of like another shade of gray rather than that orange or peach or I gotta come up. I don't think it says what it is. Purple, it's not purple but it sure ain't gray either. Um, it is still obviously a good casual shoe. Just it'd be better if it, if it wasn't such a bold color. So the other, the other, do I call it a negative? I guess I, sh I should. It's just a weird thing. And that is these shoes are noisy in certain environments, in certain casual environments. And it's a casual shoe, so I'm gonna bring it up. If I go to the grocery store <coughs> or a restaurant where you're likely to encounter tile or linoleum or wood or one of those fake woods, any kind of a, of a manufactured surface, uh, and then I stop my foot suddenly or I turn suddenly, it squeaks. It squeaks loud. So loud that people go, oh, look around like, like, what was that noise? <laughs> so again, it's negative. It's not a deal breaker by any means. So I've got like 51 miles on these already, and that's because I love them. And let's not forget, look at the amount of wear and tear on this. Do you see any? I don't see any. I'm looking at it really close. I mean, look at the tread. There is no difference in that tread that I can see from the day I received it 52 and a half miles ago. And, you know, they've got like a 5,000 mile warranty on their soles. So 5,000 miles. Well, I don't know if this is going to last 5,000 miles, but I can attest to 50 miles. They're still in great shape. So to summarize then, the shoe rocks. I love it. I think you will too.